guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting very to episode 11 of Love Line Nikasaki School Idol Club. So, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, let's see our little fight between Ayamu and Yuten. I wonder if what's her face is going to be shown in this episode. Because I think she was shown in um, previous episodes. <laughs> right? Yeah, I didn't think of any of that. Uh, uh huh. Good luck, girls. Hmm? Me too. Something tells me we're going to see that next week. I think this show either has... Let's look that up. I've got time before the episode continues. Nope, we got two more weeks with the show. Okay, so never mind. But they could put it in 12 or 13. It's just up to them. <laughs> My third years. Uh, so please let Yu Chan sing. I just want to hear her say you sing. That's all. We only got two episodes left with this. Is that so nuts? Okay. Exactly. And I'm glad that they went. Oh. I don't know. My foot. <laughs> I really got it. <laughs> oh, I love her so much. There we go. Ah, oh, that feels 
so much better. So pretty. Why are the venues so pretty? Do you, like, we've said this, like, oh my god, like, everything about this series is just so freaking beautiful. Like, it's so much prettier than the other two. And I love the backgrounds of the other two shows, but, like, oof. You know you want to talk to her. Like, she had that moment, but she decided not to, and I get the fact. Because we're not probably going to see this situation until later on into the episode. What the? <laughs> Is there anything even in there? It's cute, though. <laughs> what did you write, I? <laughs> That's perfect. What's up, Rena? Mm, you're right. My baby's runs on my ninky and I'm gonna die.
the cutest cookie ever. I want a cookie, damn it, even though I had ice cream, like, two hours ago, I believe. I think I might take my hair out tomorrow. <laughs> What's up? Nah, she your girlfriend. She love you too freaking much. She just wants to be with you. Damn, well I thought Ayamu and her would have had the conversation that they would have had, but maybe towards the end of the episode. <laughs> There's a lot more in there. Maybe school?
That's a good idea. Something also tells me, maybe, just maybe, because I've kind of been thinking about this ever since last week, and when you express this idea, it'd be funny. <laughs> Even though a little part of me doesn't really think it's going to happen, if maybe they decide to get Aqua and Muse together. Perfect. <sighs> Thank God. Oh. That's how it starts. <laughs> Hi, Amu, honey. You just gotta talk to her. That's all. You got this. Maybe. If only you didn't tell her that. Now she feels worse. I am. Hmm? Oh. Maybe she'll show you that she's going to play.
But it's something else. Oh, <laughs> so gay. They are so gay and I love it. They are so fucking cute. Like, I can't. Did you see her, like, literally embrace for her? Not only that, but she, like, oh, her leg in between Oh my god. Stop it. Y'all so cute. Oh, god. But the fact is that Ayamu just wants to be a school idol for you, Chan and you, Chan only. Stop it. Y'all are just Oh. <laughs> the Yuri. The Yuri is strong today. I mean, oh my god. Honestly, this is this is canon. This is canon. In the end by the end of the series, these two are gonna get married. They check looking, you know what? No no no. They've been married since episode one. And then, you know, Cessna comes in and she kinda has ruined the marriage, but you know, it's okay. Next thing you know, it's gonna be like, um, What's that word? Poly polynogamous? Is, is it a po poly relationship? There we go. It's just good. All three of them. They're gonna be in a relationship with each other, and it's gonna be okay. And I am not gonna get upset. But like, oh my god, I feel so bad for her. She didn't want. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't want you to say what her dream was, but I wanted to know what it was. It didn't have to do anything with Setsuna. It had something to do with you and Yuchan only, but I kind of wish we got to hear what it was, but no. Oh. Alright, are we, okay. It makes me wonder, like, okay. Because uh, ever since I've been a part of the Love Live community um, fandom, and ever since I started watching the anime and such, we've never really had moments where a girl has, you know, told another girl that she has feelings for them. We get, like, little moments between them, but we never really get that portrayal across saying that, I like you. I've liked you for such a long time. It's like that. And I think if they decide to do this, I think this would be a really good thing because of the fact is they've never really gone that route. And it's it's now modern day. You, you get to see it in like everything. As someone who, as a straight female and who supports same-sex marriages and stuff, I still like to see it in anime. There's not a lot of people who don't really want to see all that ish because of how they feel. But for me, as someone who supports that and who says love is love no matter what, I really want to see this between these two. And to see if Ayamu or Yuchan, one of the two, or even at the same time, possibly confesses to the other person and says, I've loved you since this. I mean, in a way, with Ayamu saying, I want to be a school idol for you and you only, it seems like that is a love confession, but it's just... It's like, yes, and it's a little bit of no, but I want to see an actual love confession. I mean, this is like that one Yuri show that I wanted to watch that I dropped as a reaction show and that I might end up pick up watching on my own. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that's all I want. I mean, honestly, but I feel the... F I, I, you know what? I thought it would be like this. I thought, you know, Cessna wouldn't have told her anything. You would have told her straight up and then... Excuse me. Um, with my... <laughs> And then uh, Ayamu would have been upset. Not, I mean, but the fact is that Setsuno was the one who said something. Of course, Ayamu has a right to be upset because it feels like 
um, Ayama was getting replaced by Setsuna. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I think there's going to be, possibly be people who are going to not really, because I don't want to say hate, maybe dislike it because of the fact is, it, as I said, it seems like Setsuna is putting her um, herself out um, so that, you know, Ayamu cannot be with you anymore. I don't know. I mean, it's just a little, you can tell that it's just now gotten even more awkward between these three because of this situation, but, excuse me, um, who knows what in the world's gonna, what's gonna happen next. I think we're gonna need a moment where all three of these girls talk to each other or it's gonna be a group thing where everybody talks to each other and, let it all out but who knows but other than that guys that is my reaction view to its episode 11 of love live nijikasaki school idol club if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday for episode 12 bye guys